Coming up on Hands On Mac, let's take a look at joining the Apple Beta Program. Yes, it is here, so stay tuned to learn how. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is is Twit. Welcome back to Hands On Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at the Apple Beta software program for those of you who are public members who want to try out Apple's latest software, and most importantly, provide feedback for how it's working or how it's not working. You are going to be responsible for finding bugs and letting Apple know what's working and what's not. So, I have talked before about how you can join the developer program for free and gain access to Apple's developer beta, but this is all about the public beta. This is the versions of Apple's platforms that are a little bit more secure, that are a little bit more, by secure I mean uh, secure in use. They have been tested a little bit more. A lot of the really bad bugs have been removed, and instead it's about finding those really hidden bugs, those small problems, those small issues by opening up the software to even more people. The official versions, the final versions of these programs, of these platforms rather, iOS, iPadOS, etc., will be released in the fall. But you over the summer can help to make sure that when it is released in the fall, everything's right as rain, everything's how it should be by the time it reaches the masses. So to join Apple's developer program is actually quite easy easy. Uh, Let's take a look at the process and what you need to know. So here we have an iPad. And the first thing we're going to do is launch Safari. And then we're going to go to beta.apple.com. That is Apple's beta software program. And you can see some information, you know, frequently asked questions, the separation between that and the developer program. And the first thing we want to do is choose sign up. When we choose sign up, We are taken to a page where it will ask you if you have an Apple ID to sign in. So I'm going to tap and uh, hold on the side with Touch ID because this is an iPad that has Touch ID to log me in. Then you need to agree to join the Apple beta software program. So, yes, you're going to read through this whole thing and make sure that you are in accordance with what it says. You can also download a PDF of it afterwards. You choose agree. And believe it or not, you're pretty much in at this point. So once you've signed in and agreed to that uh, special agreement, the next time you log into beta.apple.com, it's going to look like this. From that point on, you can get started with actually receiving uh, beta software. So what we want to do is we want to swipe out of Safari and we want to go into settings. And then we want to tap on general and then we want to tap on software update and then we want to choose beta updates. And because this account is also a developer account, that is why you're seeing developer beta, developer beta as well. If you are not a developer, you will only see public beta once you have enrolled as I have just done with this account. So what I would do is because iPadOS 18 is the next version of iPadOS, I would choose iPadOS 18 public beta, or on an iPhone, I would choose iOS 18 public beta. I will back out of this screen, and I am presented with the ability to now install the iPadOS beta. Upon doing so, when the device relaunches, there'll be a new app that appears on the iPad, and it's an app that's called Feedback. Now we'll see, yes, I do have feedback on here, And up pops a bunch of information. Yes, I'm okay with using this. Um, You sign in with your Apple ID. Once you've logged into Feedback Assistant, you are now able to provide feedback regarding your usage of the platform. So at any time, if you run into an issue, you can use this to submit feedback. I tap in the lower right hand corner, or I can tap on the button that says New Feedback, and I choose what the feedback is for iOS and iPadOS, for example. 
Um, then I can see, is it about iOS and iPadOS in general? Uh, I give it a title. I uh, select what area I'm experiencing issues with. So let's say it's the app switcher and it is incorrect or unexpected behavior. So the app switcher is not switching back and forth between apps as I would expect. When it occurred uh, in the description, I give a very detailed description. Only when I swipe up to access app switcher um, after I have been within an app, but not while I'm on the home screen and activate app switcher, you wanna get as detailed as possible and you explain exactly what happens. Then it will automatically include what's called a sys diagnose. That is a system diagnostics to kind of give the developers that work at Apple the ability to see what happened on your device in the operating system when this error occurred. After all that information has been included, you can also include attachments, so screenshots, and you can choose to submit. Uh, after that, that information will be provided to Apple's developers and they can see what's causing the error there. Now, when you join the public beta, you are given access to not just iOS, but also iPadOS, which works the same way. You just saw that was iPad OS, but iOS works the same way. You go and do uh, general software update and choose that way. Mac OS is a little bit different. Um, there's actually a special tool that you use to enroll your Mac. So you wanna be on this page and choose enroll your Mac there uh, in order to access the beta for Mac OS Sequoia. TV OS is also going to be the same uh, where you go into the settings you go into general software update, and then you're able to update your Apple TV. Watch OS, you go into the watch app and do the same. And HomePod is a little bit different. Um, it is, if it's a HomePod mini or a HomePod second generation, then there are new versions of HomePod uh, software available. And so you can tap to enroll those. And all you have to do to enroll those is first make sure that your iOS or iPadOS device is running the beta. And then you go into the home app and you can add the beta versions for the different bits of software or for the different bits of hardware that you have. Now, at any time on this page, beta.apple.com, you can provide feedback. So it tells you what you need to know for feedback assistant, like what I just talked about on any of these devices. But what happens if you decide, you know what, I don't want to be part of the public beta anymore? Well, we'll choose guide and we will scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I just realized it is not from the guide page. You're going to just go to the main page. So beta.apple.com and you're going to scroll down to the bottom. You'll choose read FAQs. Scroll all the way to the bottom. How do I leave the Apple Beta software program? To leave the program, visit the unenroll page. So that is at beta.apple.com slash unenroll hyphen your hyphen devices. That's why I just recommend using that method of going to the main page, scrolling down, FAQ, scroll down, tap on unenroll. And first and foremost, you go in to your settings and you switch. Again, settings, general, software update, beta updates and turn it off, that's the first step. But to actually unenroll your account so that you're not even seeing the option to be part of the public beta, you need to go down to how do I leave the Apple beta software program and choose leave Apple beta software program. This will remove your account from the Apple beta software program and you won't have to worry about it anymore. If I were to tap on this button, I'd be out of it. If I go back to settings, general software update, beta updates, I would no longer see public beta as an option. Folks, I know some of you out there are very excited to get your hands on the latest versions of Apple's various platforms. This is a way to do that while also helping to make sure that these programs are ready to roll for the masses. So if you decide to check out Apple's beta programs. I'd love to hear about it. Love to hear about your experience. And thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on Mac. I will be back next week. I will be back next week with another episode. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>